Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end of the reading, I will pull you some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, Cancer, so I appreciate your patience. Time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. For some of you, this is old news. For some, this is current energy. And for some, this is yet to happen. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, uh, merch, all that stuff will be linked and listed in the description box. All right, Cancer, lots of cups here. Your first card out and strongest energy for the week is the Seven of Cups, followed by the Nine of Cups and a major arcana, the Hierophant. Taurus energy could be important to you. We have here the Five of Pentacles. Okay, a lot going on. Pentacles, Cups, Majors. Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, though. Some sort of confusion. Somebody's feeling abandoned, left out, left behind. And they're very confused as to what happened is the vibe I'm getting with that Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. We have now the Seven of Pentacles. So you have two sevens here. Seven, seven, and also two fives. Five, five. Hmm. One more card, please, for Cancer. I don't know if the Seven of Pentacles is speaking to waiting. Hmm. Or maybe this is energy you're over. You've gotten over with the Seven of Pentacles. In the past, there was a very confusing period. Maybe you were sort of, um, or some of you were having money issues. Maybe this is currently um, not having enough financially. Not knowing how to sort of create more. That's for some of you. And for some, this is pertaining to a connection. But there was a lot of elusive energy with. And it looks like that connection might not be in your life anymore. Could even be a ghosting situation. With the smoky clouds of the Seven of Cups in this. Someone definitely could have ghosted. For some of you. But that will pass. If you're sort of still in this energy of wondering what happened, maybe that's your confirmation. You might have, we might be waiting or someone could be waiting for this person to come back. But I think the reality or the realization is going to be that, nah, you're better than this. You're better than this. There's no need to wait. And for somewhere, this is financial based. There's something that um, you need to take the chance and invest in. There's some sort of thing you can invest in here that might actually improve your situation. The Nine of Cups usually is wish fulfillment, getting what it is you're desiring. A sense of contentment, a sense of um, being comfortable. For obviously from a place where you were not. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, all about new contracts and new partnerships. So it's almost as if you sort of cut through some sort of illusion or some sort of... It's almost could be mindset. The way you're perceiving something is what's creating illusion. It's almost as if once you accept some sort of truth about a situation or even about... You know, or there's some idea that you're going to get that's really going to help you. Because I am getting multiple type of vibes here. For some, this is about a relationship. And for some, this is about finances. Some of you want to be in a committed relationship. There was some past thing that was very confusing that left you sort of um, feeling alone. Maybe some of you are still currently in that situation that's being advised. You need to see the forest from the trees here. Is this really, are you, are you really happy? Is this, is this what you're desiring? It's time to sort of review. Because if it's feeling you, leaving you feeling alone and confused, probably not what you're, this is definitely probably, this is not, I don't see someone wanting this willingly. Right? So decisions need to be made here. Reviews need to happen. There's a sense of integrity that needs to be honored with that uh, hierophant. Integrity to self. There's other things out there for you, whether it's work, whether it's relationships, but it's like you need to be able to see that. Some of you are in the mindset of this is all you can get. You're not going to find anything better, and that's a lie. That could be where the deception is coming from or the lack of being able to see the reality. There's always something else out there, unfortunately. You know, that's why relationships are, are not successful because there is so much options. There, because there's always another thing you could be doing or experiencing. So it's a negative and a positive, right? It's a negative and a positive.
But if you are in a situation where you are feeling confused, there's no clarity, you're feeling left out, you're feeling alone, might be a good time to explore those options. Definitely the type of situation you'd want to explore your options and see what else is out there. Is this really, is this something you want to keep giving to? And if this is work, there does, there are avenues that you can take or things that you can do to sort of increase income, but you got to sort of um, look, open your eyes or do research. King of Pentacles here. So if this is about finances. I mean, it's there for you. The King of Pentacles is someone that's usually very financially stable. And if this is about romantic uh, relationships, this is someone that is wanting a relationship. It's like you got to date people that are wanting to date or want to be in a relationship. And once you sort of weed it out, Six of Cups here too, Soul Connection, or could also be Pattern Energy. The Six of Cups can be a sense of something you do all the time, a sense a pattern that needs to be realized and broken through and released. Because, you know, good things are out there. Good things are out there, but will you allow yourself to see it? Will you allow yourself to see them or explore them or look for them? Because something's got your head um, all hazy right now. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer. This is a romantic situation. What is the guidance for Cancer, please? Could also be that you have a soft spot for somebody, or this is someone that you've known for a very long time. So that's what's making it difficult to release. But once you kind of see the reality from the illusion, then progress is, is able to be made. Because there is a lot of illusionary energy. This is a very dark energy. This is very like cloudy, moody energy. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So confirmation in that. Whatever it is you're feeling, you're, you're right to feel that way. You are feeling something, but it's sort of like ignoring because, you know, you do have love for this person. You do have a connection with them. But there's a sense of, um, I don't know, it's not making you feel good. It's not, it's not leaving you feeling good. And it's almost as if you're not validating that. So by this saying your feelings are real and worth exploring, that's that exploring. It's time to sort of explore. And financial, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life. See, I was getting two storylines. For some of you, this is about matters of the heart, and for some, this is about stability. You know, not knowing sort of how to sort of increase finances, become stable. But this is saying there's maybe a course or even something that you can maybe invest in or take some time and invest in research. Learn a new skill. Okay, let's get some advice here for cancer. Could also be a King of Pentacles that plays some a, a, an Earth sign, because there's a lot of Earth energy here. King of Pentacles and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or ask for advice, even rewriting the subconscious. The more I embrace feeling good, the less often I feel bad. So, very much about how we perceive ourselves or what what our perception is. My uh, grounding my energy, it is safe to be in my body. So this is all sort of giving the same vibe. There is someone here that is ignoring their feelings, especially when it comes to a relationship. A lot of ignoring how one's feeling and that needs to stop. It's kind of giving more of this illusion energy food. It's helping it grow. Grounding my energy. It is safe to feel... It is safe to be in my body and rewriting the subconscious, yeah. Guidance, please, for Cancer. Date night. Get ready to be wined and dine. I think this is what some of you are desiring, but I don't think you're getting it where you're at. With that Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Some of you, there is nobody, and you're not putting yourself out there. That's also what the Two of Wands is about. You want this sort of partner, but you're not putting yourself out there in order to align yourself with it. You're kind of just sitting, hoping it comes to you. That's also what's going on here for some of you. Yes. <laughs> yes, it didn't flip out, but yes. Guidance, please. One more card for Cancer. Okay. 
Thank you. Ask for help from others. Yeah, some of you need to ask for help. You need to open up. Got that vibe too. Um, Animal Oracle for Cancer, please. You're keeping yourself closed off, or there's a sense of um, even um, could even be stubbornness a little bit, or we're just wanting to, you know, afraid to ask for help. Because that, that Nine of Cups can definitely be a, a snooty energy. Or this could definitely be someone you're connected to. Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. So heavy, heavy something to do with perception here, either way. Someone's, someone's perception or the way they perceive things is really sort of blocking whatever it is they're trying to bring in. And it, it's subconscious. The Seven of Cups is giving me subconscious energy. Maybe by day you're telling yourself, you know, I'm good, I'm great, I am abundant, I am blessed. But subconsciously, that's where the work needs to be done. See? Rewriting the subconscious. Some of you need to do some um, frequency therapy or, you know, sleep, some sleep therapy. Playing stuff while you sleep so they can really penetrate the subconscious. Expect powerful change. And I think that is it. That is it. That is your reading, Cancer. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.